college football big game previews for week number seven. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on any of these games at any of Tunica's six wonderful, awesome sports books. Go check them out. You got Hollywood, First Jackpot, Samstown, Horseshoe, uh, Gold Strike, and the Fitz Casino. Named them all from memory. I'm feeling good. Bam. Feeling good. Uh, as always, yeah, go check out our picks contest over at winningcureseverything.com. Football picks contest up in the uh, the top right corner of the navigation bar. This week, it is a two-night stay at Hollywood, a $100 gift certificate to, uh, let's see, the Barn Prime Steakhouse, what, the first jackpot steakhouse. Uh, right and, across the street. Yes. And then um, uh, $50 in free slot play. And a boy. So pretty big, uh, pretty big slate this week. Uh, last week, Charles E won with a seven and three record. Yeah, we had some like nobody hit eight and two, nobody hit nine and one, nobody went undefeated, and we've got a lot of people in this thing. So I was a little surprised. Well, a little I don't surprised. feel so bad about how I did. No, no, you were you were fine. There were other people that uh, that did as badly as you did, <laughs> as badly as I did. That's I, I not felt, many worse, but that's okay. I felt pretty good. I went six and four in uh, in the pick'em thing. Atta boy. So it's it was not bad. Somebody's got to hold up our end of it. You better believe that. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Thursday and Friday games just to go on and get those done. Thursday Some decent night, games. Georgia Southern at Texas State. Georgia Southern is a seventeen point favorite. Just going to tell you guys, like it's not going to be one of my picks because it's a Thursday game. I love Georgia Southern yeah. in this. Yeah. Holy God, Texas State is awful. It's they, only a 17-point line. Georgia Southern's a good team, too. And I understand Georgia Southern going on the road, short week. I got you. Texas State's bad. Georgia Southern is really good. Yeah. Texas State only has like four days to prep for that Georgia Southern triple option, and I love it. I, all of my metrics say they're going to beat them by 22, 23. I was just about to say, I think Georgia yeah. Southern will score 40. Yeah, that's, I mean, they're going to put up a big number. And Texas State don't ever score a whole lot against no. anybody. Uh, next up, Texas Tech at TCU. Big game. You want me to tell you a really, really goofy stat? Sure. I'm, I'm certain I'm not going to like it. <laughs> you're you're going to hate it. Thanks. All right, so TCU is favored by what, like 10 and a half, something like that? Oh, no. Um, TCU's only like a seven-point line. Is it a seven-point line? Yeah. Don't we, uh, don't we TCU, oh, man. sorry, sorry. Seven and a half, seven and a half. Uh, the metrics say that Texas Tech uh, should only be like a three- or four-point underdog in this game. Uh, they do have to try. They, they got to go on the road, all that. TCU, since like 2010, in games on natural grass as a favorite, are 2-15 and 15 against the spread. <laughs> but don't they play on natural grass? Yes, in their home? it's at their home field. Yeah, this is at but, TCU. But as a favorite, on natural grass, 2-15 and 15 against the spread. Crazy stat, yeah. I know. Uh, I don't like it. But this is a Thursday night. I don't, you know, I don't know that they'll cover the seven and a half. That seems like a lot. Sean Robinson may be out for this game. Uh, they still haven't come out and said anything about that. So, so we don't know what the TCU quarterback situation is going to look like. But they'll be either fine. Way, they'll they'll be put fine. up points. So that, that'll still be fun to watch on Thursday. Texas night. Tech's not going to stop anybody. Friday, South Florida at Tulsa. South Florida is a fourteen point favorite in that one. Uh, no, they're not. They're seven and a half. The opening line said like fourteen. And I just never looked at it again. That's crazy. All right, so South Florida minus seven and a half. Uh, I would fully expect them to cover that. That's a gambling pick of mine. All right, then I'm gonna leave that one alone. Well, you can. I mean, we'll, uh, I'll just give it away. <laughs> no, here. we'll we'll talk I'm, about it. I'm gonna take South Florida. <laughs> by, by the way, in case anybody's curious on that, I if, if you want to go watch Tulsa. the gambling picks uh, uh, episode, you get yeah, one we'll, for free. The rest you of them you got to pay for. Uh, yeah, with a view. Air Force at San Diego State on Friday night. San Diego State looks really good. Uh, that line, according to Hollywood Casino and First Jackpot Casino, uh, which they are providing the lines for this week. Go check them out. Um, that line is 10 for San Diego State. Look, they lost their starting quarterback, their starting running back, and then they took Boise behind the woodshed last week. Like, the score wasn't, you know, they didn't beat them by 40, but they dominated that game. Could this be one of those things where the injury made them a better team? 
I think it's entirely possible that, that they were one injury well, away from and, being a really good team. Rocky Long is just a fantastic coach. Oh no, you're like right. he's he's that in guy's going to get a yeah. It, it, see, that's the problem. I think he would have already gotten one, but he's he's in his sixties. I don't, I don't know that I would leave San Diego for any job in the world. I, he may have been offered, and if just I, didn't. as long as they're paying me enough to live comfortably in the city of San Diego, I there ain't a whole lot of things that's going to take me away from there. No, you're right. I've been there. I've vacationed there. I'd move to Colorado Island. Arizona at Utah. Utah minus 14 coming off of a big win over Stanford. Uh, I think Arizona's getting a little bit better. 14 seems like it might be a lot. Especially Are you sure for this. David Shaw's a good coach? Uh, I think David Shaw's team had been beaten absolutely okay. to death two weeks in a row. I just, uh, I just, like, to, I just like to poke fun when I can. I can understand that. Um, no, there was no reason for them to lose that game other than they had just been to Eugene and pulled out a crazy miraculous win, and they just went to Notre, Notre Dame, Dame and got their brains yep. beat in. So, uh, 14 may seem like a, a little much. Uh, my metrics have got this one. Uh, I got them right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's actually right on the number. So, metrics have it right at 14. Maybe it's not too big. Maybe it's not too big. We'll see. It just feels like game. it might be too big. I'm not touching. Utah favored by 14 over anybody. It just sounds crazy. Let's jump into the biggest games of the weekend. Are you ready to do this? There's some big ones this week. There's some big ones. First off, college game day. Ann Arbor. Wisconsin at Michigan. Michigan is a seven-point favorite, uh, at least as far as the last time I looked. We just got the yep. updated lines. Uh, up Michigan minus seven and a half. Last time I looked, it was seven. Over under is 47 and a half. Saturday at 6.30 p.m., ABC. It's at the big house in Ann Arbor. Uh, I cannot figure out why this line is so high. Like, my metrics have Michigan as a two-point favorite. Yeah, pretty even game. I I'll tell you this, Wisconsin has only been a rogue dog twice since 2015. They're 2-0 and against the spread in both of those. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bet this game at all. I don't think I am. But I will tell you that I'm going to watch every second of this game. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's just a – There's the not big a lot going on at, at 6 or 6.30. No, like, the there's evening West Virginia, slate Iowa is State. not nearly as good as last week's evening state. But the 2.30 slate is ridiculous the, this week. We'll, we'll get to that, though. The Big Ten has been down this year. But when they have big premier games, oh yeah, boy, they're big premier games. Yeah, this is it, so Michigan. This starts the run, right? Like you That's got it. you got Wisconsin, you got Michigan State, you got Penn, Penn State, State you got and then Ohio at the end State. of the year, you got Ohio State. They got a gauntlet here that they got to slew through. But if they roll through this gauntlet, if if yep. they can find a way to beat Wisconsin and Notre Dame finishes undefeated, well, Michigan State is. It's going to be real hard to say, hey man, their only loss is to an undefeated Notre Dame team. Yeah, at it's, Notre it's, Dame it's tough to week say. one, but that's a we're we're chalking up W's way too early before we get to that. If if you can beat Wisconsin at home, that's a that's just a start. Michigan State is not nearly as no, good this no, no, year no. as people thought they you would. Cannot be. lose to Michigan State this year, and then after that you got Penn State, and yeah, so you play at Michigan State this year, but you've got Penn State and Wisconsin at home. You got Ohio State on the road, though. Yeah, but that's at the very end of the year. I'm yeah. just talking about this gauntlet right here. Oh, the, the three team? This yeah. is It is favorable for you to be able to win all three of these games if you're Michigan. Yeah, because you got the hardest one on the road. But that, that Michigan State team, even though they're not good, it don't matter. That game is oh, it'll, just it'll one that crazy. does not matter. Just hope to God that it doesn't rain like it did last year, right? I'm excited <laughs> for this game. The Big Ten, like I said, they've been down. But when they have a big game... Man, yeah, they they bring a big game. Yeah, you got that right. Wisconsin and Michigan both. Uh, this this will be. I'm staying away. I love both these teams. This will I be entertaining. Both these teams be in the playoffs before the season started. I was wrong on that. But. Yeah, yeah. With both of them uh, entering with the loss, it's not a not a good thing. Uh, Georgia minus seven and a half at LSU. Over unders fifty and a half. It's Saturday, two thirty p.m. CBS down in Death Valley in Baton Rouge. It's gonna How be a large it, time. Tell me about. Your Tigers. Okay. I actually feel way more confident about this game as this week has started than I thought I would. That, you know, you, that's surprising to me I, a little bit I because thought, our YouTube viewers here, uh, I guess, they gave yeah. you so, – I mean, as yeah. soon as that game went final, I'm sure. my phone was just dinging. All, ding, ding, ding. How you feel about people, your Tigers now, All Chris? these people come out How of the woodworks when the game is over. I know. I, I said, know. where were you before the game to I talk know. us out of this? No, no. I, don't like, know, I, I, I even jumped in. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Felipe Frank sucks. Let's yeah. roll. Yeah. No, I was sorry. wrong. No, I, listen – it's on the I road. I still think it kind of sucks. But, you know. it, 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 they were on the road. 
look, one one big mistake by Joe Burrow cost them that game, cost them that cover. Because if he doesn't throw that interception at the end of the game, they drive down the field. There's no doubt in my mind they can kick the field goal. So now if, that doesn't if, get them the cover. But. If they get them the touchdown, though, you've got the guaranteed win in hand with the best field goal and kicker in college football probably. You, you, well, what surprised me about that was that Florida ran for 215 yards in that game. No, the defense is on the field too much. The offense staggered way too much. They weren't creative at all. So tell we, me, we had some issues. I just, I don't listen. I can't other give than you, I can't give you metrics. At no, no, no point, you don't have to give me metrics. At no listen. point in level, at no point in the game, at no level of the game, are are we better than Georgia? None. Listen, I, I, let me read off I the the, the few notes that I have. Other than games against Alabama, this is the second time in the last five years that LSU has been a home underdog. And that's not counting Alabama it's games. They, they were an Alabama. underdog to Auburn last year. Correct. Other than that, this is it. That's it. Uh, the metrics say the line's dead on at seven. I'm surprised it wasn't a little more after the Florida game. So, why? Like, explain why, as an I LSU think, fan, you were confident in this. And I'll tell you why I'm confident in this. I think... Every person not bleeding purple and gold is going to say, damn, it's just a touchdown. Georgia's going to smoke them. You got Kirby Smart against O? Come on, man. And I think 80 to 90% of every nickel bet on this game is going to be on Georgia. And I'm all right with that. Yeah, that the hook, though, I think a lot of people might jump in on that hook. I don't think they are. I think I, I, it, that's, I might be wrong. I just feel good about it. I can't explain why. I know this. We're coming off a bad loss. It looks bad, but we didn't get beat up in that game. Stopping Georgia's running backs is something that nobody has been able to do yet. We got ran all over against Florida. If we get housed. This will be a pride game. If we get housed, it will be because we cannot stop their running backs. That is the that is a fact that will not be argumented by me at all. That's that's going to happen if we can't stop the running backs. Nobody's been able to stop them yet. If we can, and we do, a crazier things have happened at night in Death oh, Valley. Oh, yeah. No, you're right about that. And and by the time this game ends, it will be nighttime in Death Valley. Um, well, hell, yeah. It's going to be night early. Look, I think that Georgia is – superior at every level of the game yes uh, but deep. but here's the deal like they haven't played a team like lsu i think they could get punched in the mouth here and it might shock them a little bit i Correct. still expect them to win the ball game i think it could be close i think it could be a touchdown I game i thought south carolina might hit them in the mouth south we carolina didn't see what they did nothing no, they fold it like a cheap suit yeah yeah no. that's just ridiculous I, lsu might get housed we're gonna find out what george is made of because we're gonna hit them in the mouth Oh yeah, that crowd is going to 100%. be insane, and they are going to get beat up. Now they might beat them by thirty. They're still going to be bleeding when the game's over with. Yep, you're right about that. That I guarantee. You. Game number three, Washington, three point favorites at Oregon. Line seems a little short to me. This game stinks. Yeah, it does. Over under fifty eight and a half. Uh, Saturday, two thirty p.m. ABC slash ESPN two. It's one of those where it just depends on on regional, which is crazy to me because the other game. Which it's our number five. We'll get to that. Um, yeah, it's in Eugene, Oregon. Look, the metrics say that Washington should be like eight, nine, ten point favorite, right? So my metrics say eight point six. Um, Washington did not look good last week against UCLA. That was one of my gambling losses. They they just decided to sleepwalk through the entire game against Chip Kelly's team. They just it, nothing. Right, gave up 14 fourth quarter points. Just looked like they didn't even want to be there. I think they might have been saving something for this week. You might be right. I watched Oregon get up for that Stanford game, and they hit Stanford in the mouth, and they beat up on Stanford for 55 minutes of football. I, I think Washington is still – Oh, immensely more talented, far than more superior than Stanford. I'm not. I'm not debating that. I'm going to tell you this: if Oregon shows up and they bring that level of effort, energy, excitement, and and execution that they, it's going to be the hard to 50, because like it, it, the game starts at twelve thirty local time. That's right. It's early. Yeah, it's a two thirty p.m. Central Time kick. Uh, I don't know, man. I 
I'm not going to be playing this game. Because I think the Washington Lions may be more fired stinks. up for it because, like, this will be their – other than the Auburn game, this is their turn to be in front of the national crowd. And it's what Chris Peterson had bitched about forever. Like, you know, well, they just keep stinging us at 9.30 p.m., you know. Like, yeah. nobody – the East Coast isn't going to see us. Here's your well, shot, boys. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's go. He, he better be ready. I, I think Oregon's going to bring something. And he's going to have an opportunity to impress people if Oregon does. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think Oregon, like we said before, still about a year away. Like, still, it, like, that depends on whether or not Justin Herbert stays. But I think Herbert can throw the football on this defense. Like, I think UCLA showed that last week. Yeah, we'll we'll learn a lot about both these teams. It would not shock me. This line stinks. It would not shock me for Oregon to come out with a W just because I think the line is all five, four or five points. What do you think about the, the over-under here? 58 and a half. I'm not touching it. Washington's defense is really good. When yeah. They, when they want to lock somebody down, they can. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. If Oregon I was going to play one, I think it would be the under. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I think so, too. Because so, so Mario Cristobal, it would be just fine with trying to run the football, run, eat up run, clock. I was just about yeah. to say, because of the way Oregon runs the football, if they maintain time of possession and just try to keep Washington off the field, that's how I would want to beat Washington. That's how Auburn beat Washington. Yeah, 100%. So. Uh, game number four. Michigan State at Penn State. Now, this would have been a lot more attractive had Michigan State not absolutely crapped the bed against Northwestern last week. I but think Northwestern had something to do with that crap in the bed part. I, Man, the, I this, talked about this, this in the recap while you were going. Disrespect to our boys from to the West Lock Pirate boys. Yeah, what I'm saying is I heard it. Northwestern. He said, y'all garbage, and he shouldn't have won that game. That's exactly what you just said. Northwestern had eight rushing yards and two defensive starters out in that game. Michigan State, yes. But the defensive starters that played, they played they like played some well. grown-ass men. They did. They did. 29-19 in that one. But uh, I think that's what makes this line as, as much as it is. And so, of course, I'm thinking, oh, man, Penn State minus 14. That's a lot uh, Which, by the way, over-unders 54. That's a so, lot of So, Vegas is thinking it's going to be a 34-20 to 20 ball game. That's a lot of points. Uh, Saturday, 2.30 p.m., it's FS1 in Happy Valley. That's right, three straight 2.30 kicks. Um, but I, I saw that line, and I'm like, there's no way that this is actually a 14-point line. And then I kept checking places, and it is. It is a 14-point line. That's a lot of points. That line is not wrong. The metrics that, that I have okay. have got this, like, Penn State minus 18, minus 19. Like, that's it. It blew my mind. I'm like, I like Mark D'Antonio. I, I'm going to ride with that. my guy. I've lost a lot riding with him. I'm riding with my guy. <laughs> I've lost a lot riding with him. I'm going to keep doing it. It's like, keep doing why? Because why, that's why my boy, keep? man. I got a job. <laughs> I make a living. It's all right. Like, I don't do this for money. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. I'm riding, um, I'm riding with my guy. I'm in the tank with D'Antonio. I'm going down with D'Antonio. I do think Penn State will be. You give me two touchdowns. Penn State will be fired up for this one. Wow. A team that just got beat by Northwestern's coming into their house. Well, a they team got that, something to prove. A team that beat you and, and might have helped keep you out of the playoff last year. Nah. You know, and it was look, it was because of a rainstorm, all that kind of mess. Like Michigan State won two games like that last year. That they probably shouldn't have won. I don't think they worried but, about old stuff. Nah, I mean, we'll see. Get to the biggest game of the weekend. Biggest game of the weekend. Number five, UCF, three and a half point favorites at the Memphis Tigers. Coming into the Liberty Bowl. The over to under, our house. The over under here. Triple digits. 78 and a half. Oh, it probably should have been 100. Oh, that's a lot of points. Seven. Saturday, guess what time? If it's a noon kickoff, I'm going to be pissed No, off. no, no, no. Another 2.30 game. Holy shit. Yeah, so 2.30, we've got Georgia, LSU, Washington, Oregon, Michigan State, Penn State, and UCF, Memphis. All right. Yeah. Some of these games are not going to get watched. Uh, I mean, just, you know, buy some more TVs. No, I don't do that. <laughs> hey, I got an Apple TV, by the way. When I when I get in on a game, I'm in. I, I got an I'm Apple in. TV. Okay. So, in the ESPN app, you can watch four at one time, and then I got the other TV that I can, I can watch two at a time, and woo. All right, anyway. Uh Saturday, 2.30 p.m. You way too much technology. I'm an old a man. <laughs> Give me my direct TV, my one clicker. I just go back and it's forth. It's ABC games. slash ESPN2. So, depending on what part of the country you're in, you either get Washington, Oregon, or UCF Memphis. Well, we're going to get this Memphis game. We're going to get the ABC. Memphis game. So, it's at the Liberty Bowl. I'll uh, be on this one and my Tigers. The So, if you look at, like, the Sagarin ratings. Okay. I it, don't. It, so, this opened up at a, at a four-and-a-half-point UCF favorite. Right. Um, 
And that's what it should have been according to Sagarin. If you look at any other metric, UCF should be favored by like double digits. And I don't think that they're wrong. Um, but I do think that Memphis will be able to score on this defense. So, I mean, I, I'm not going to touch this game. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, this game's in my gambling picks. Is it? Damn right I mean, it we, is. We might leave that one alone. We kind of running low on time on this Come one. Come on. But yeah, let's go on and run through our honorable mention. Texas A&M, two-and-a-half-point favorite at South Carolina. Line seems a little weird, a little funky. This line um, stinks. Yeah. This line stinks. It really does. Uh, I mean, how do you feel about this? You, I, I would have, I would bet a house note on A and M with this line, but because it's so low, I'm staying away. Yeah, it something stinks. makes it, something makes it weird. Uh, North, Colorado, South Carolina's going to win it outright. It stinks. It probably, Colorado at USC. USC is a seven point favorite. This one's in my gambling picks. Oh wow! Okay, West Virginia seven, well favored by seven at Iowa State. This is one of the nightcap games. Yeah, favored by seven. This was in my gambling picks. At Iowa State. At Iowa State. Man. That's I'm sure be, you that's, can tell which way I'm leaning. That's going to be a good game. Oh, yeah. That's another one of the night games. That'll so, be that's, a, game watch. that's a 6 p.m. on FS1 game. Uh, what is Pac-12 after dark? I know we're getting out of here. Uh, that's Colorado and USC on FS1. That's the 9 o'clock game? 9.30. Uh, I, wish I, I wish it was better. Let's see. ESPN... We've got so the 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 after dark games, the nine fifteen plus games, ESPN two, Hawaii at BYU, uh, CBS Sports Network, Boise State at Nevada, FS one, Colorado at USC, ESPNU, Wyoming at Fresno State. All right, I think ESPN might have boxing. This will be a bad <laughs> week for Pac twelve after dark. <laughs> hey, you still got Hawaii late? It's all good. That's gonna wrap up the big game previews. Don't forget. You've got everything you need to know to go be a winner. Go on down to Tunica. Place your bets. Get some action in. TunicaTravel.com has got all the information you need for all six of their sports books. So go check them out. You can also get our picks and whatnot over at winningcureseverything.com.